Hey, what's going on guys? John here again, and we got some juicy content over the weekend with the Cybertruck. Now, if you guys haven't already heard, it's all over the web. You can search it up yourself, but I'm just going to try to summarize the entire thing for you in this video here. So essentially, the Cybertruck, the alpha version or the beta version, is pretty much complete. It's going over to the Gigafactory in Texas, which is pretty much called the Giga Texas. Um, that's incredible. If you guys haven't seen the sheer size of that place, it is amazing. But let's talk about the Cybertruck. Gosh, this thing is so amazing. I'm just gonna plop it right on here for you guys to take a look at. Holy, the light bar is just amazing. And I'm praising it a little bit too much, but guess what guys? There is a full-on video that somebody captured inside of the factory and it has the entire thing on display for you to see. Now before I get into too much good things about the Cybertruck, there are a couple of negatives that I do want to point out in this video. Let's talk about them throughout the entire thing. But before we do that, why don't I just show you guys the video that has been circulating quite a bit online. Alright, so in this video here, you're not going to hear anything. There is no audio to it. There is some subtitles at the bottom there for you guys to read. If there isn't, unfortunately, there is nothing. I can do so I'm just gonna do some voice over here guys this is amazing I love the front end of the cyber truck I hope Elon Musk brings this out for everyone what about the door the door is amazing and what about the front end front end is amazing what about the back end same thing Elon Musk is doing way too much here but man that guy is amazing and that pretty much sums up the entire video it is just incredible the stainless steel on the outside and there has been some rumors of a black version of it as well so that doesn't really take too much work you probably can just dye the entire thing yourself if Tesla decides they don't want to give you guys that color but anyways enough of the silliness let's talk about the overall design from the prototype to now I'm seeing not much of a difference on top of that I'm seeing some negatives that I do want to discuss here like I've mentioned I don't like the windshield wiper guys tell me what you think in the comments below and while you're at it please subscribe to the channel I am gonna be talking a lot more of EVs and Tesla instead of just all the electronics and phones and stuff um, but yeah if you guys are interested please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now let's talk about the windshield wiper specifically. All right, so that thing is really hideous. I know the first glimpse we had of it was in November of 2021, and it still looks hideous today in this picture here. It just doesn't work, and there has been talks about laser beams or lasers just destroying the water particles uh, when it rains, but sounds a little bit too far-fetched, at, at least for now. But I think the windshield wiper, it just doesn't work. For me, I think it gets too much in the way of the driver. And then just the swiping motion, you're not going to get most of uh, the windshield. I'm literally just approximating right here, but the length of that thing, swiping across, you're going to have a humongous piece right here that is not swiped away. And that's just inconvenient for the passenger and in some ways even unsafe for the driver if you're trying to peer out to the side to see if there's an oncoming car you're gonna be blocked with a bunch of rain in the corner there just because uh, the windshield wiper doesn't get that spot so yeah hopefully Elon Musk thinks of something different maybe they're gonna do a side-to-side -side action who knows but in the end I still think the windshield wiper is just so ugly now I know there's gonna be a lot of Tesla fans and me haters out there you guys are probably gonna say this is the best design ever you know what I do agree with you the Tesla Tesla Cybertruck is the best design ever, but there are certain aspects of it that I don't really like and another part of that has to tie into the mirrors. Now when it was originally unveiled, the mirrors was just not there. They were thinking of a camera based system for lane changes. Now because of regulations, mirrors have to be there and the mirror that they put in here is just fugly. I I'll be honest, it's just fugly. It doesn't fit in properly. It doesn't look like a Model 3, Model Y, Model X where it's painted properly. Uh, it can't be painted here really because Tesla is going for this whole aluminum uh, feel to it. So what color can they really paint here? So honestly, it just looks like a mirror from a base a Toyota Corolla where you're using the lowest trim possible and they're not even putting enough effort in place to just paint the mirror cap. So it just gives me that sort of vibe. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and then another thing I want to talk about here is the rims at the bottom. I just don't like it. Looks like a base Model 3 again. Um, but you guys let me know. It just looks a little bit too different than the caps that originally came with the Cybertruck and the prototype which they just left that alone. Um, there's so many aspects of it I do want to just point out. And of course, as I've mentioned, this is still in alpha and beta. 
so nothing is set in stones just yet. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys my opinions on the Cybertruck and all the exciting news surrounding the Giga Texas. It is incredible and I think the Tesla Cybertruck is going to do so well just sitting there as a display. Everybody's going to love it so much. And yeah, so at the moment we're talking about it right now, it has already been unloaded off the truck and inside the factory. So if you guys are lucky enough to be around the area, you can probably go in there and feel the dang thing. Oh my God, I wish I was there. But unfortunately not, I'm up here in Canada, so I'm just gonna go touch a F-150 or something like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick update of the Cybertruck. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys know what to do. This is John, once again, peace out.